Okay, my dad's gonna help me make soap after surgery, so here's his instructions. So, scale is on, he said zero, we are on ounces, so let's go. So, grab a, grab the shea butter. You want some rubber gloves? Oh on? yeah, go for it, up there. Okay, so take the shea butter, just go ahead and start with that one. Okay. If the uh, lid's not loose, you can grab one of the tops, but that's fine. So you're gonna dig four ounces of that out. Be careful that be careful that the, it's not touching because it throws the measurement off. So okay, so four ounces of shea butter. So okay, so just take a little piece and pop it in there. Perfect. Okay. All right now, grab the coconut oil. Okay. So remember to zero out your scale. Okay. So now you're going to do 104 ounces of that. Okay. Ain't nothing easy. Yeah. Like I said, when it starts to liquefy, it'd be a lot easier. I mean, I have a jacket heater we could put on it, but you gotta let it sit like that for like 24 hours to melt it. 104? Yeah, 104. So if you hear that beep, just hit the hold button. Just don't zero it out or you'll forget where you were. Getting there. Nope. You'd be surprised how much that stuff weighs. Okay, so you probably scrape off what's on the spatula and get there. Almost. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll do castor oil. Okay, so you zeroed out. Now you're going to go four ounces. Remember, this is a heavy oil, so just pour slowly. Four ounces? Four, four ounces, ounces, yep. When you've done it a couple of times, you'll get used to the speed of it. Perfect. Take a paper towel, wipe off the lip so it doesn't bleed. Okay, so next is olive oil. So, that one nope, I, I want you to use that bottle you got right there. Okay. okay, you zeroed out your scale, 48 ounces. It tends to splash, so just be careful. 48, 48 ounces.
Sometimes it settles and the uh, scale will count backwards for a tenth. Uh, you're probably right there. You're fine. 47.8. A little more. Try to keep it exact. It does throw things off. It's probably should be good, I would think. Okay, there you go. All right, now let's melt it. Okay, so for the scent, grab the patchouli oil. Put in two ounces of patchouli oil. And if it's a little bit more, it's not the end of the world. A little bit more. That's fine. Is that empty? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so the lavender, put three ounces of the lavender in there. That's fine. That's that's good, Dave. You're fine. Let's take the other Pyrex jar and let's put some of the red sandalwood powder in there. So you're gonna want about two tablespoons of that. So just eyeball it. You know. It doesn't have to be exact. Just be careful with that bag, it uh, tends to fall apart. Yeah. A little bit more. That's good. So, I like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So not two tablespoons, but... It's probably... It's probably plenty. It's about what I use. You can put a little bit more in there if you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's not going to hurt it. So... Yeah. That's what you put in, that's, that's fine. Yeah, you just want a light swirl like that. Mm -hmm. just, the more you put in, the darker this brown will be. And I like the lavender patchouli to be kind of light. So, okay. okay. All right. So when the oils are mel melted, we'll just put about a half a cup of oil over this to what help about? set it. We have to wait till the oils are melted for that as well. Okay. That goes into the oil. That's going to go into the other pot. Yep. Okay. okay, so add a scoop of oil to your red sandalwood powder. And then just leave the measuring cup in there because you're going to need it again. Probably got two to three tablespoons of your titanium dioxide in there. It won't make it super white, but it will whiten it enough. Okay? Okay. You ready to make it? I guess. Okay, put your gloves on. Okay, so I'm getting the lie. Okay, before you dump it in, just set it down on the counter. Just take that stick blender and just stir in the titanium dioxide powder a little bit. Okay, the button's by your thumb. Okay, now throw in that, uh, well, don't throw it in there, but pour the lye in. Okay. Yeah. 
It can sometimes run down the side of it dead, so just be careful that it doesn't spill onto the countertop or the floor or anything like that. Okay, would you rinse it out real quick? That's good. Try to dry your hands off before you use the equipment. There you go. Because you don't want water spilling in there from the sink. No. All right. Okay. So now you're going to start stick blending. Okay. So gently, kind of just up and down. <laughs> You notice the color change as the oils get pulled underneath. So you gotta get rid of that oily look on the top. Alright, stop. Okay, would you add your uh, lavender seeds? A little bit more. That's good. Stir them in first and then you can start mixing. Alright, start mixing in. So sometimes I find it easy to angle and just slowly bring it up. And just kind of stir and they'll, they'll go down eventually. And that's about how you want them to look. Okay. And then let's see how we're looking. Not quite there yet. Getting close though. Okay. Take a scoop of this soap and put it into your um, color. With the scoop? Yep. Just do it over it. Yeah, so it doesn't make a mess. And add one more to it. Okay. And you can throw the measuring cup into the other pot if you want to. Okay. So just set that aside. You don't need it yet. Add all your sent to the um, mixture. Just dump it all into the main pot. Okay, and you just set that in the sink. Okay, just before you blend it, just stir it in so that way it doesn't splash back on you. It's going to loosen up the soap a little bit. So, here. Yeah. Stir, stir. Get it in there good. Okay. So, this is pro. I'm just showing you. That's all. Okay, now you can start blending it. Okay, what? Well, stir and blend at the same time. Make sure that all those little rivers of fragrance. So at this point, at this point, if you check for trace, you're at a pretty medium to thick trace. Okay, so when the soap leaves an impression like that, it's ready. So bring your little pot over here and blend it. 
Okay. Just just get it mixed in. So it turns a nice purple color. Okay, that's probably good enough. Now just put the blender back in the pot and just kind of pour that in in a swirl. Okay. Now don't blend it anymore, just go ahead and put it over there. Okay. All right. Don't blend it anymore, just stir it. Okay, and that's that's enough. Okay. Now take the you take the blender and just put the whole thing over here. You a pro already. Look at that. Okay, so pick it up. Okay. Okay, so right in the middle. Yep, just go slow. And then work it from side to side so that the color stays even. Let me grab you the spatula. Okay. All right. All right, now take the spatula and get all of it out as best you can. Just don't dump your pot into the soap at the end. <laughs> Want me to help you? Okay. Yeah, just kind of guide it in. Okay, that's good enough. Put that on the counter. By deep you mean? Like, don't go like all the way down. Just about a half inch is all you need to do. Okay. Put a swirl on this, this row two. See how it's all solid through here? Mm -hmm. Try to get some of that in. That's how I do it. Well, you do however you're comfortable with. It's not really a wrong way to do it. You can, if you want, you can drag a line down the center. And what it does is it just kind of stretches it. Okay. And when, I, and when we shave it, it'll look kind of cool. Okay. If you don't like it, just re-swirl it. Not a big deal. Okay. One last step I forgot to tell you about is if you take uh, isopropyl alcohol, this is 95%, spray the top. I don't usually do this because I always forget, but what this does is it, pre it prevents excessive ashiness. Yeah. Okay? okay? And then you're done. And that's it. And then you just wash the dishes. Yep, just throw it away. And then you just wash the dishes.